A small form barreled out from behind the curtain that separated the back of the van from the driver's seat. The blur of movement almost knocked me over as it headed straight to the kitchen area where the honking originated from. Shouldn't take so long to brew a damn coffee. The form mumbled as arms quickly pulled a mug down from a cabinet and poured a stream of what looked like the strongest cup of coffee ever to grace the face of the earth. Fucking old piece of crap technology. Oh, it's better, they told me. Best cup of joe you'll ever have, they told me. Can't even get it to brew faster than ten damn minutes. Stupid humans with their stupid machines and their stupid traditions and Callista. Ariette hollered, toned firm but edged with amusement. The tiny form turned toward me and I finally was able to take her in once the quick movements and angry grumbling had ceased. She was pretty, in a sort of otherworldly way. Her frame was short and slightly stout, made more proportional by large round hips and a busty chest that threatened to rip the fabric of her top apart at any second. She wore a brown t-shirt cut into a deep v-neck that was laced together like a sneaker, and showed off her ample breasts. The style was popular among humans, so I was pretty surprised to see a fay in a shirt like that. Her legs were clad in tight skinny jeans that definitely should not have allowed for the amount of movement she had shown on her journey to get her coffee. One hand fiddled with a piece of jewelry around her neck. It was a thin gold chain with a single tiny feather hung on it. It was a beautiful necklace, but it couldn't hold a flame to her face and hair. Her pale nose was tiny, upturned, and covered with a spattering of freckles. It sat just below large almond-shaped eyes that blinked beneath long, thick lashes. Her irises were a violent purple, an almost fuchsia color that took me completely by surprise and lent her an intense gaze I could almost feel myself get lost in. And at the crown of her head sat a mass of spiked silver hair. It wasn't the kind of silver that came from age or a box of hair dye. It was the kind of silver swords and fine jewelry were made from. Yo, can I help you? It was then that I noticed her voice. It wasn't deep at all like I had expected given her stature. While it wasn't nearly as soothing and commanding as Ariette's, Callista's voice carried a melodious ripple that ran through it, as if she sang every word. She must have noticed my stare, and I heard Ariette giggle behind me. Uh, no, no, I was just, um, uh, your eyes, sir. <laughs> I fumbled for words because I'd never encountered anyone who looked quite like her. Fay or human. Yeah, yeah. I'm half dwarf, half elf, and that's why I look so different. Yes, I have a hand. No, I don't drink beer and eat cake all day. Yes, I'm taller than the average dwarf. Yes, I've got magic. No, besides my hand, I can't do anything more than tracker spells and a little befuddlement. Did I cover everything? 